Hello and welcome back to the Zombie Jamboree. Now we're in the middle of uh, the old city. Which, that's his actual name actually. I think he doesn't actually have a name. It's just called The Old City. Um, which is full of corrupted. Which is nice. They're friendly friendly folks. Always got a good word to say about corrupted. And our job basically is to save citizens. And we're not actually doing too bad. Uh, I assume there's going to be more than one map of this. So we've got 21 out of 60. So we're a third of the way there. Um, we saved everyone on this map. We could. And we got a bit of gold. So we're going to get some food. Okay. Okay, food. Yeah, there's, there's a paltry amount, but... I mean, the peasants, you can't... Can't really blame them. And they're basically taking everything they've got, so... Okay, what equipment? We saved some guy who... Ooh. That's better against... Uh, that, yeah, better against corrupted, so yes, please. My good man. Okay. Break camp. We haven't got much gold to get more food, but pff, we'll hopefully get some on the way. We've been fairly lucky with drops this this run, so onwards. Further into the city, with more yet to be saved. The smell of rotting flesh lingers in the air. The gatehouse tower looms over you, its size encrusted with a taint of corruption. The captain greets you as you approach. Ah. Oh damn! This is some new shit. Oh, is that the scouts reported? Corpion says. That corruption will block the path for the wagons. Now make haste. We'll protect the wagons of my scouts. You two will clear the way. Alright. You two. I'm sorry, mate. It's just me. It's going to be... I'm going to need help. Please. Until Corpion's up and running, I need some sort of distraction so I'm not getting hit from all sides. And we've got new shit as well. I'm not sure what the hell that spire is. That, yeah. It looks fairly fucking terrifying. It's like a fucking obelisk. So it is. So it is. It is an obelisk. The land itself has become shattered, shambling, and broken. Attacks with bursts of corruption that snare and damage their targets. Use a vey to avoid their attacks or ch change direction rapidly to break free. Can I break it? <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> okay, it's a bit better at breaking this sucker down as well. And boom, that should do nicely to all of you. And right up the arse. A weak point. Oh shit, I think they killed all the scouts. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't realise it was like that. I thought it was a ring. Oh shit. Uh, uh. I've got to kill this thing. Uh. Damn you. Die! <laughs> now I can do a little of this. <laughs> that should be easy from now on. I've got just a blade to deal with these suckers. <laughs> oh, these are different boys. I think. That's the cure for corruption, alright. A uh, good solid stab to the floor. Oh, uh, dead, dead by the Cardinal Blade. Have you found Jesus? Here's some Jesus for you. Right in your noggin. You've been thoroughly Jesus. Uh, there we go. Embrace Jesus! Double kill! Took a beating from that because uh, the damn tower should have been, you know, breaking it rather than slashing it, but live and learn. Just in this occasion. Uh, Captain Fiore addresses you. You have a steady swing, excellent soldier. It will only be more difficult from here on. I bear no ill will towards you if you choose to leave now. So fucking don't. Who the fuck will just leave? As the captain scouts lead the wagons through the next district and seal the gates, you ascend the gatehouse tower. What is it the towers will watch over? A stream of death and despair? Sounds fun. The tower provides a commanding view over the once impressive city. As you pause to catch your breath, you watch the last of the sun's rays disappear over the horizon. Corbyon shakes your shoulder and points over to the battlements to the south. Is that going to get a corruption token? Yep. 
There you see the final gatehouse, its tower rising from the walls of the old city to the south. Okay, we need to find more citizens though. Whoa. Have you ever seen so many? Copying remarks as you watch the infected swarm the city wall. How can the Empire let its people suffer so? Copy on matters under their breath, and then abandon those in need. Okay, so there's more blight monster cards to the deck. Which is just what we wanted. As you continue to look, a small glow appears on the horizon beyond the city perimeter. First one, then another, then another. The Empire! They are preparing to burn the city. We must get the people to safety. I just hope we are not too late. Onwards, my friend. Putrefaction has ravaged this part of the city. Narrow alleyways which have never seen the light of day harbour nothing but misery and pestilence. Pass through that incident, of course. Safe part of town, obviously. The river's water, now a putrid green, emanates with a miasma that turns your stomach. They believe Whoa. fire will what the hell? this sickness. But the sickness is not in the city. It is in the land itself. It will be purged. But not like this. Not like this. With a terrible crash, the building beside you is struck by a flaming catapult shot. The building heaves and twists from the impact and crumbles across the street in front of you. Colbion shields their eyes from the blaze. Quickly, we must find another way. You turn the wagons around and search for another road through the district. Okay, ain't going that way. Smoke fills the city and stings your eyes. The Empire intends to staunch the infection with fire. You pick up the pace. Here we go again, boys. Mind unless they seem unaware of your presence. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh, oh no, I did it again! I'm just trying to get that gold one. <laughs> what an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. Fuck <laughs> you! Just fuck off! Oh, laughing at me, you son of a bitch. And Colbion's gone again. Of course he is. Nice to see you, Colbion. Sad you couldn't, you know, stick around, but that's life. Nicely <laughs> timed. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> oh no, I can't keep using you. Sorry, mate. I'm on my own now. Uh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he just like absolutely just laughed at me then, like full on derision. Yes, we all know you're you're a slightly bigger boy. You got like your wanking hand is good and strong. The rot grants power before it grants release. Muscle replaced with darkness, organs pumping black bile through shattered veins. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to come knocked down when the health is low. Okay, so I guess you just hit harder, right? Nice one, big boy. Solid swing. Oh no, you can do heavy attacks. I see your, your big boy thing, is it? What are you doing, mate? Use your special. Ugh, useless. Ooh, that was a close one. Almost missed time that boy. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of the big boy. <laughs> That's a two foot. Oh boy. And that did some good. But we're still not there yet. Ow. Got to get those blocks on the way again. There we go. Get some nice repots on these bad boys. Ah, that should level things a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. That's what we're going for. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. But we're without Colby on again. Uh, he's having a bad time of it this time. He just every time I look around, he's being smacked about a bit more. All right, cool. Smoke fills the city and stings your eyes. Yeah. Oh shit! Not again. Well, Colbion can't be possibly be hurt anymore. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that takes away one. Yep, rain of blows fells the group infected before they can respond. Hey. Press for a second assault, because they're still too stupid to realize what's going on. 
the pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. That seems pretty hopeful to me, and that's another one gone. Hey, so we've just got small boys and a big boy. No, I don't need you for that. <laughs> this is fairly bog standard stuff. Okay, let's do this. Come at me, bros. Oh, we haven't even got the big boys. Just the slightly bigger boys. The average boys, let's call them. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Just took a quick moment from pounding on this guy to... Ah, hit another boy. Use your special, dude. Thank you. Thank you for finally listening to me. I appreciate it. Ow. Die in a fire, dude. Ugh. <laughs> I love this sword. There we go. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, you got reposted, son. Now we just keep lining up those specials. <laughs> Get rid of. Oh, we just got the average boys left. Hey, managed to get both of them. There we go. <laughs> Took a couple of hits, but nothing. A couple of days worth of food will uh, heal up. And we get a load of fame as well, but I haven't found anything to use that with. Yeah. City streets again. The spread of plague has rendered this district a blackened maze. If there is a finer mind than my own, I've yet to meet it. Oh. Yet, I've brought a scourge of mindlessness into this world, and must suffer the results. Yep, I'm guessing you caused the plague then, you big doofus. A wounded peasant runs stumbling down the street, chased by a horde of corrupted. Fight the corrupted or attempt to escape. Well, I'm a brave boy. Get ready your weapon as the horde draws near. Uh, yeah, nah, that should be alright. This is about what I was facing last time, so. I can handle these boys. Come on then, lads. You gotta see it for yourself then. Nice try. Wow. I want you to do that. Thank you. Ow. Oh boy. That was close. Get rid of you. And you. <laughs> it's two in quick succession. Can't complain about that. Ah. Why wouldn't you roll then? I hit the button for roll. I hit the button for block. He's not obeying my commands very quickly, and that's weird. I don't remember it being this kind of awkward before. Haha. <laughs> Get rid of you, my son. Don't need you around here anymore. Stinking up the place. The Horde of Eater, the town site, rushed to tend to the peasants. They are grateful for your protection. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I thought I hit A then. I did hit A. Uh, 
not failure, please. Oh, just what the doctor ordered, literally, because I need healing. <laughs> you have saved five citizens. In the street, you can see other paths. Okay, cool. Alright, time to camp, I think. We'll transport any people. Cheers, bro. Get some life back. I can't trade anything because no one's got anything to trade. That'll have to do for the moat. Corbion's back. Oh no. Okay, we ain't going that way then. That's a burning remains of the city. Hey, In grateful the midst merchant. Of there will always be traders who stayed too long hoping to profit. Well, they might well profit. Explain and... Okay, cool. Now I'll sell equipment at the campfire. Thank you. Should you find yourself short of gold, we have to give you a good price for any equipment you might want to trade. Legend. Alright, let's go hook up back up in this corner. Let's not leave anyone to burn up there, shall we? Empire contacts. Okay. Friends in high places will take you far these days. Tell me, who are you hunting? I'll see what I can find in the vault of contraband items. Well, hunting corrupted. Something came in just yesterday. Oh, cool. Cheers, dude. Offer to pay 20 gold for the item now. I'll send it to you when I can. Alright, thanks, bro. Dealer moves the card to the top of the equipment deck. Okay, next time I get equipment, I'll be getting that. Right? Tight. Can't complain too much about that. Putrefactions ravage this part of the city. Ah. Well, let's cut through the middle of this burning inferno. Do you want to know what lies beyond the gates of death? This corruption is but a small part of it. Well, I've got Corbion with me, and I am back in the game, so. Don't need the, your useless scouts who die within about five seconds, Estrella, Estrella, whatever your name was. Okay, lad. I'm glad to have you beside me again. Oh, we got a big boy. Oh, close one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> time that fairly well, I think. There's the big boy gone, but you you guys still think you can do it? I don't think so, pal. <laughs> yeah, you can finish off that, lad. That won't take long, I imagine. Well, I didn't get there quite in time. Doesn't matter, I'll finish him off this way. What the hell are you doing, Colbion? Why haven't you why haven't you attacking him? <laughs> there we go. Better late than never, eh? The war defeated, the townsfolk rushed to tend to the peasants. Okay, cool. We get the the wheel of loveliness again. Oh no. Well you just don't give me anything, douchebags. Pray for the lives that load into the wagons. Okay. Oh, cool. We can go to the old maiden and get food. Dealer removes the corruption counter from the map. It's as before. The gate is blocked by more layers of corruption. The wagons cannot get through. It must be destroyed. You thank the scouts and assure me you head to the in due course. When I feel like it, basically. Okay, we need food, lady. This should sustain you. Cheers, bro. Right. Let's scour these city streets before going back up to the top right. You want to get everyone, basically. The spread of plague has rendered the districts of blackened maze. With every step, corruption reaches further, and your chances become less. You spy a group of poor urchins loitering in an alley. They look hungry. Explain you're there to help. How do you know you're not one of them? How do you know you're not sick like the monsters? Try to catch them. You herd the children together. <laughs> There we go. It's not a huge success, you but have done well. maybe that'll work. It's best to grab some of the children before they make their escape. You load them onto the wagons and assure them of their safety. The remaining urchins remain unreachable. It's no use. Maybe with some food would coax them from hiding. Yeah, but I don't have much food left. 
That's literally all of my food, Corbion. Leave the children for now. Reluctantly, you leave the frightened children and continue patrolling the streets. But it's still like that, so maybe if we've got four food when we're coming back to the end of this one, we can coax them out. Maybe? The spread of plague has rendered the district a blackened maze again. Of course it has. Oh shit, this is where Colby one gets fucking smacked about again. Ah. No, we just missed the chance, I think. Colby on still, still game. Yep. Okay, here we go again. Slightly greater chance of success this time. Got it. Okay, we remove one monster guard, but... That'll have to do. And we will do this fight next time on Hand of Fate 2. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.